Coming up, magic tricks that'll amaze your friends. Weird and wacky bubbles that'll blow your mind. The world's trickiest brain teasers. And a megaphone that'll guarantee those match-winning goals. Hey, Taryn, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Dana. Oh, that megaphone is so cool. And speaking of cool, get ready for some ice and snow and the coolest picnic you've ever seen. My friends and I are going on a totally cool picnic. It's an ice picnic. We're gonna need a stack of ice. So this spot looks perfect. Our entire picnic is gonna be cooled by the snow. Chase has bought the shovel. That's to make our ice picnic table. And the supplies to make snow cones. He'll make those later. But first, for our dish of the day, we're gonna make our own ice cream. That takes the longest, so let's get going. First, into our small plastic bag, we'll need half a cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, half a cup of cream, touch of vanilla essence, and last of all, a few drops of blue food coloring, just to make our ice cream look super cool. Okay, now we seal it up, give it a shake, and our sloppy mixture is about to become rock solid. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be amazed. You won't believe your eyes when I make my lovely assistant Grace float above this table. Abracadabra, Alice Shazam. <laughs> uh, this normally works, I promise. I can do this. Maybe if I just help a little. Um, no. OK, so I can't make Grace levitate, but I can make a whole audience disappear. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind. Time for my emergency trick. This trusty magic paperclip works every time. I also need some scissors, sticky tape, an empty jar with a metal lid, string, plasticine, and the magician's best friend, a magnet. To make my magic paperclip jar, I cut a short piece of string and tie one end to the paperclip. Now I attach the magnet to the inside of the metal lid using the plasticine. Then I tape the string to the bottom of the jar. The paperclip should have enough string to almost reach the top of the jar. The lid goes back on and my magic paperclip is ready to impress. I just need my doubting audience back. Hey, you guys. This time I really will make something float in midair. Gather around and watch closely. You won't believe your eyes. Drum roll, please. I just turn the jar upside down like this and say the magic words, abracadabra. Look at that. The paperclip is suspended in midair. Now do you believe I'm magic? The secret to Kimberly's trick is the magnet. It pulls the paperclip towards it, but the string stops the two from meeting. This leaves the paperclip suspended in the jar as it tries to get to the magnet. Simple. So you see, I do have magic powers. Now for my next trick, I'll turn Grace back into a butterfly and you boys into toads. Turning boys into toads? Now that I have to see. And I can't wait to see how Dylan's going to turn his sloppy mixture into solid ice cream. My friends and I have headed to the snow for our ice picnic. We've already made our ice cream mix. Now it's time to make the world's funkiest freezer. We get another plastic bag that's big enough to hold the small one, plus two handfuls of snow. OK, into the big bag they go. See if it's cold enough to freeze our ice cream. Needs to be colder. So here's a trick to making our ice cream really freeze. Gabrielle's going to put in a whole bunch of salt. Seal it up and mix it around. OK, into the big plastic bag goes our ice cream mix. Seal it 
and shake it all about. Now we take turns at rolling the bag around to make sure our ice cream mix gets cold all over. While our fridge in the bag starts to freeze that ice cream, Chase will concoct his world famous snow cones while the rest of us start building our picnic table. Nicole is such a super brain. She can write faster than anyone I know. And she's a super speed reader. I think it's time her nerdy super brain got a real workout. Time for a real brain challenge, Nicole. Pat the top of your head. Now rub around your tummy at the same time. I'll keep her doing that for a while. This time, pat your tummy and rub your head in a circular movement at the same time. Ha ha, I've got a brilliant brain tied up in knots. Our brains get used to moving each hand in a certain pattern. When we change the pattern, we alter the hand moving program in our brains. Sometimes our hands stop moving while the brain learns its new trick. She's not a fast runner after all. Whoops, looks like she's a fast runner though. That's what I call using your brain, Zach. And Jade and Ashley have been putting their brains to work too in the backyard bubble blowing department. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Magical, mystical, marvellous bubbles. Ashley and I are bubble magicians. It's so fun to watch them float away. You never know where they'll land. But they're always round. I wonder if there are any other shapes we can make. Let's grab some more pipe cleaners and give it a go. What if I make a square bubble wand? Can I blow an oblong bubble? That would be magical. Oh, suddenly not a square. Well, if the square won't work, let's try a different shape. My bubblicious buddy has a triangle ready to go. It always comes out as a sphere. Ashley, my dear, I've had an idea. Maybe our bubble blowing shapes need more depth. They need to be three dimensional. You try making a triangular prism and I'll make up a cube. I think we might have just come up with a solution here. Perfect. A masterpiece of pipe cleaner construction. Into the magical bubble mixture they go. Wow, look at that. It's a square bubble. And check that out. A triangular bubble has formed inside the frame. But can we blow them in that shape? They're round again. After all that. <laughs> Beautiful bubbles, though. <laughs> Blowing a square or triangular bubble is impossible because the molecules in the mixture like to stick together in a particular way. They naturally arrange themselves into a spherical shape. Well, when it comes to bubbles, I think the big is really the most beautiful. Now that's magic. I'm coaching our neighbourhood soccer team. With the way they're playing, we'll never kick a goal. Go round! Go round! To the right! I said right! Don't kick it there! What are you doing? To the right! <gasps> they're just not listening to me! I need a voice booster. I know! I'll place a rubber band around the bottle, about halfway down. And use that as a cutting guide. The top section is what I'll need. Now to see if it works. Dribble it around! Around to the right! It works! Now 
charging you straight on! When we speak, sound waves travel out from our mouths in all directions. They get thinner and weaker the further away they travel. But Jordan's simple megaphone channels the same sound waves in one direction. Because they're not spread out as much, they sound louder and stronger. He scores! Lost! A goal! Now if they just keep listening, the Neighbourhood Soccer Championship is in the bag. Now that is what I call a match-winning megaphone. <laughs> yep, and I'd like to get my mouth around some of Dylan's prize-winning ice cream. I wonder how it's turned out. We are ready for our ice picnic to begin. Chase is putting the finishing touches on the snow cones, while the rest of us work on our ice picnic table. Better check on that ice cream. How cold is our freezer bag now? 10 degrees below freezing. Okay, really cold. Good. That salt has made our ice cream solid. Let's get this stuff onto our picnic table. Time to sample the goodies. Our ice cream is now solid enough to serve. As soon as Dylan puts salt into the bag, it begins breaking up the crystal-like structure of the ice, causing it to become liquid. Now, salt dissolves in liquid water. And because energy is required for the dissolving process, the dissolving salt absorbs heat from the water, causing it to get colder and colder. The super-cold water then starts drawing heat away from the ice cream mix. So its temperature drops way below zero, making the ice cream really solid. Now let the ice picnic begin. Yum! Yum! Oh, yum! And double yum! This is the best ice cream ever! Mmm! That's it! I've got to go make some of that ice cream! <laughs> Might as well, because we've come to the end of another show. See you next time!